Hi, welcome to Miss Jessica's Scratch Class, Lesson Five. Last time in Lesson Four, I showed you how to create a Pac-Man and fruits, and also how to hide these fruits or food when Pac-Man um, get to them. So today we're going to um, add more stuff to our game. We're going to actually add、um, an, an enemy, and also we'll add more red dots for the Pac-Man to eat. So let's start. Before we start, I like to add. Music is the in in the, for our game. So to add music, you can add the music to any sprite. But I, I'm going to add the music to our Pac-Man sprite since Pac-Man is our main character. So go to Scripts tab and go to Control. We want to say when the game has started, when the green flag is clicked, when the game starts, we are going to forever play. A music loop, and before we do that, we need to go to our sounds. And here, I already imported some sounds. And to import the sounds, here I'll show you how to import. When you click import, and I showed you this in the previous lessons, but let's do it again. So you import, and you select from the music loop, and you can select techno. And then here, then once you have music clips in your In your sounds like sounds on tab, you can go back to your scripts. And here, inside of my forever、um, block, I want to say forever play the music. I want to play. I want to use this block. Play sounds until done, because that way you will play the whole music clip before it goes onto the next one. So I'm gonna put play sound techno until done, and you can always. Click it to test it. I'm gonna drag another one because I have. Okay. So I'm actually gonna stop this from playing because. The, oh, one quick way to stop any scripts is to click the stop button. You see, okay. So let's try this again. When you double click this block, this whole block will continue to play until you tell it to stop. So to stop it, to stop everything, click the stop sign button. Okay. So now, when the music, when the Pac-Man,、um, when when we click when we click the green flag scripts. The music will start playing. Okay,、so、that is what we want. So we click stop to stop the music. And next, I'm going to, I want to create dots, just like the Pac-Man games. And these dots will behave the same way as the cheese ball and fruit platters and strawberry. When they get touched by Pac-Man, they will disappear. So to do that, click on strawberry. And I'm going just to go into copy the strawberry sprite and click duplicates. Now you have two strawberry, but I actually wanted to change this to looking like a dot. So go to costume tab and select this paint editor. And first thing I want to do is clear it.、And、I want to create a dot. So use the circle tools and make sure the solid is selected. And、I、like to use the red. I need to create a big red circle and just click OK. So you can move this dot to wherever you like, and then this dot will just behave the same way if you eat it. If you if the pagan eats it, it will it will disappear. Okay, let's click the stop button again, and I'm going to create、um, several several sprites, several dot sprites. Video. I've already created a whole bunch of dots. So last one, I want to create、um, one more. You just, you just selected the sprite, right-click the sprite, and click duplicate. And then once you do that, click the star green flags because they all have a、uh, a script that says to start when to show to show when the green flag is clicked. Okay, let me stop.、This. So、um, you can go ahead and move、um, all these 
dot spike to wherever you see fit. Right, the video is being paused. Um, I go ahead and put. I went ahead and put all the dots in the places like alike, and so now you can test by clicking the the green flag. Now that. Okay. All right. That works just as expected. Okay. Let me stop it. Okay. Next, I'm going to show you how to create an enemy. So, um, to create an enemy, let's start by um, actually drawing one. Click Paint New Sprite, and then are we going to create a traditional looking enemy? Use the circle and hollow circle. So, create a big circle. And then use the line tool. I'm going to create the little feet, little wiggling feet of our of the enemy. And erase the line. I find paintbrush um, kind of hard to use to 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 make. I when I create sprites, I like to use either the circle tool, trying um, the rectangle tool, and the straight line. It makes better picture. So now I have the shape. I'm going to add eyes. I'm going to make it a bit angry and hungry. I'm going to give it an angry mouth. All right. So, and I want to use um, blue. So just click the the fill bucket and click it. It's good. So save. Click OK. And I wanted to change to add a, a, cust a custom so that it will it will looks like it's um this enemy is moving so. Click copy, then edit. I want to flip it horizontally so it looks like it's feeds when you when it changes between custom it's feeds moving. And I do want to change the mouth. So erase it and I want to use the little create a little O shaped mouth. And then I'll go ahead and fill it. Oh before I fill I like to copy this color so Use the eye drop to copy the color and then just click the field tools as such. There you go, and then just click OK. So now we have the enemy, or that's called the ghost. And I think it's a bit too big. Let's, get, let's shrink it. Okay, that's good. And click anywhere to get rid of the shrinking cursor. Click scripts. I want to tell this um, ghost. By the way, let's change the name to ghost. Now let's add scripts so that the ghost will continue to follow or chase after Pac-Man. Go to control. And let's say when the green flag is click forever. And inside this forever block, I'm going to put, put um, use points tour and click this. When you click this um, arrow, you see all these sprites that are already created. So select Pac-Man, go with point tour Pac-Man, and then move one step, uh, move ten steps. And notice, let's let's test this out. See how fast. The ghost is following the Pac-Man. That's not what we want. We want the Pac-Man. We want to give the Pac-Man some time to escape. So let's stop. To give the Pac-Man a little bit time to stop, that's at um, the wait time. So let's use the wait one second. We actually want it to wait just 0.2 seconds. You can try wait different times. See how how you like it. But I'm going to use 0.2 seconds. So let's test again. 
You see how the Pac-Man is moving a bit faster than the Ghost. Cool. The only thing left is, so we're almost done. The only thing left is I wanted to tell the Ghost to change its costume as it's moving. So to do so, remember we already changed, we already created a costume, so we just go to looks. Use the next costume. So every time after it waits 0.2 seconds, it changed the next costume. So I press again. See how the, the ghost is changing look. Alright. This concludes our lesson five. Next time I'm in the lesson six, I'm going to show you how to add score and how to change level. I'll see you next time.